So if you've chosen to elevate your carbon dioxide levels to 1,200 to 1,600 parts per million, this Tobacco University video is for you. All right, let's get into carbon dioxide levels of 1,200 to 1,600 parts per million and its relation to cannabis plant production. Well, first off, those levels, keep in mind that 400 parts per million is normal atmospheric conditions and elevating the levels above this will require the use of several pieces of equipment. The goal is to increase overall plant yield, as we can see here, closer to atmospheric conditions. The same plant grown in just over 1,200 parts per million you can see a much larger amount of biomass accumulated there. So the equipment list is you're going to need a carbon dioxide source, a method of delivery, a monitoring system. Now there are other videos on this channel that will focus on uh, those aspects, but this video focuses on the chosen range and its impact on the plants. And the image I provided here just shows if you were to use a bottle system, some pieces of equipment you might want to be considering. So that 1,200 to 1,600 parts per million, growers want to ensure the plants do not run out of carbon dioxide to maximize the levels they account for this. So however, this can be corrected by ensuring a quality controller and proper sensor placement. So growers that want to ensure, want to make sure there's no chance my plants running out of carbon dioxide, maximizing the levels uh, basically will ensure they're not going to be carbon dioxide deficient. Even at these high levels, there's no risk of workers being in this space for extended periods of time because levels about 5,000 are considered to start being hazardous to humans. So why not just add extra carbon dioxide? Well, we're looking at, we don't want to add extra carbon dioxide because carbon dioxide levels beyond what the plant can utilize can result in ethylene production, which can cause early plant ripening and other speed aging effects we see here in the GIF. And looking at ethylene synthesis and sensitivity in crops, we see some kind of examples here. Again, these would be way high or elevated levels, uh, but this is why we want to be conscious of how much carbon dioxide we're adding because adding just more will potentially cause problems and not any benefit uh, to the plants there. So what over adding? So when carbon dioxide is over added, this can result in not only wasting carbon dioxide, but it doesn't offer any benefits to the plant, can actually increase the chance at reducing overall yields. This is why it's a good idea to have an, uh, an idea what the range you're shooting for is and to make sure you're staying within that range. Don't want to go too excessive and just keep that in mind that 400 parts per million is atmospheric conditions. So again, looking at 400 being the kind of uh, minimal and then going up to you know maybe 1400 and much beyond that, you could see all of these lines start to plateau and you're not really getting much of a yield benefit at those levels. So you have to take all these factors into consideration as you make your decision for your grow space.